My name is Lydia, and Francie and I are the founding co-directors of Mill City Grows. We started Mill City Grows because we saw that too many of our neighbors in Lowell lacked access to fresh, healthy food. Like Tony, one of our many gardeners who struggles to lead a healthy life. We met Tony a few years ago. He's a single dad, living on a fixed income, raising two young boys. And he lives in a densely settled neighborhood where there's no full-service grocery store. This leaves him with some struggles for accessing healthy food for himself and his family. But this is not just Tony's problem. In low-income neighborhoods in Lowell, many lack fresh produce at supermarkets because they only have fast food stores and little small corner stores like this one. These corner stores rarely have fresh produce, and when they do, it's up to three times more expensive. With a poverty rate of 18%, Lowell residents just cannot afford this. Imagine that these are your food choices. A 99 cent hamburger from a fast food restaurant or a $2 apple at the convenience store. For a low income family, the luxury of choice just does not exist. More calories on the dollar is the only way to feed a family. In a recent survey in Lowell, we found that four out of 10 residents could not find fresh fruits and vegetables near their home. That means 43,000 residents who lack access to healthy food. This equates to high um, instances of diet-related disease, and this is what Tony had. He had high blood pressure and diabetes when he first met him. Look around Lowell and you can't help but notice urban blight, which is most evident in vacant lots that fill with trash, invite crime, and decrease property values. These challenges combined create a very unhealthy future for Lowell residents. And that's where Mill City Grows comes in. We disrupt this trajectory by creating urban food production and transforming Lowell's food systems one lot at a time. We have two unique forms of urban food production, we have community gardens where residents produce their own food. Mill City Grows staff provides technical assistance, classes, as well as general oversight over the garden. We also run a social enterprise, our urban farm, where our staff and volunteers grow produce to sell via our mobile market. Now Lowell residents have access to fresh, healthy, and affordable food right in their neighborhoods. And all of the money that goes comes from our mobile market, goes right back into our programming. So our program's main goals are to create multiple access points for healthy, fresh food for residents. And to do this, we have to implement grassroots organizing. So we do door knocking, community meetings, ensuring that our work is rooted in community values. We also create educational opportunities in all of our programs, making sure that our resident gardeners are successful in their work and we rely on strong partnerships. So we work with the city of Lowell to identify non-buildable vacant lots where we can create urban food production. And we also partner with area nonprofits and other organizations so that we can expand our reach and meet new and more residents to provide our services to. Our work is already transforming the landscape of Lowell, but most importantly, it's transforming the lives of people like Tony and his family. In just a few years, Tony has become a passionate gardener. He's growing his own source of food for himself and his family, and it's actually changing the way his family's eating. In just one year of gardening with us, his doctor reduced his blood pressure medicine, and Tony's reported that he has even more energy and lower stress. In fact, the only thing that's stressing him out these days is growing enough kale for these two boys so they stop fighting over who gets the last kale chips. <laughs> We've had numerous successes like Tony's, and we see this in gardeners that tell us that they have improved health, that they also have built robust social networks, and that they're actually saving money. They're saving up to $250 each season in their home food budget. We had some pretty notable achievements in 2013. We ran three community gardens and one urban farm, and this totaled 51,000 square feet of food production space in the city of Lowell. Here we grew 12,000 pounds of food, and we also piloted our mobile market to reach over 500 Lowell residents. We're very, very proud of the success we've had in two years, but the reality is that Lowell residents need more. 
So in 2016, we have some exciting goals. Um, we're going to expand our gardens and farms to reach over 170,000 square feet of urban food production space where we, we will be growing over 50,000 pounds of food. This food is then going to be distributed via our mobile market, which is launching this year, and will go to 10 sites by 2016. This will impact over 5,000 residents, so 10 times more people than we were able to impact in 2013. To seize this opportunity, we need an investment of $800,000 over the next two years. Historically, we've relied on foundations and grants to support our work. With an investment of $800,000, we can increase our social enterprise revenue generation, we'll be growing our urban farm and our mobile market so that every donated dollar goes back to helping families like Tony access fresh, healthy food. Mill City Grows model proves that urban food production can change the urban reality, transforming lots that once looked like this into lots that now look like this. <laughs> So thank you very much, and we hope that you come and chat with us at the end.